Gospel Broadcasting Network, a cooperative effort of Churches of Christ, brings you good news today and every day. No matter what else is happening in the world, there is good news today. Welcome to Good News Today, the program where you will always find good news no matter what else is happening in the world. I'm Jim Dearman, your host for Good News Today. And of course, every program begins with our devotional time. Be turning to the Old Testament book of Jeremiah, the weeping prophet. We're going to look at Jeremiah chapter 22, verses 24 through 30. And there's a statement there that um, is the death knell to uh, the false doctrine of premillennialism, a very prevalent doctrine today in the religious world, but a false doctrine. And um, there are some statements there from the inspired prophet Jeremiah that um, make it absolutely impossible for the premillennial theory to be true. That is, that Christ is going to reign on the earth for a literal 1,000 years. So we're going to get to that in our devotional reading. Of course, our uh, scripture reading and our scenery and singing segment, and then our brief study of scripture. That's our devotional time with which we begin every program. But we always like to tell you what else is coming your way on every edition of Good News Today, and today, A Better Life with Paul Sane. Is there really another testament of Jesus Christ? Well, the answer is no, and Paul discusses that in his brief but powerful Better Life segment. And today, we search the Scriptures. Yes, it's the day we search the Scriptures with Cliff Goodwin. That outstanding program, Searching the Scriptures, we feature on this edition of Good News Today. And today, Cliff discusses the topic, When God Answers No. When God Answers No. No, or when his answer is no. You will not want to miss that. And Eddie Parrish comes along with another Truth and Love segment. Recently, Eddie's been talking about the way that seems right to a man from Proverbs 14, 12. Uh, he has already talked about the fact that um, some believe everyone has a right to his own belief. That's a way that seems right to a man, but it's not biblical. And what about the idea that one church is as good as another? Well, that's the topic that uh, Eddie will discuss today, and you will not want to miss that. It is uh, vitally important. So that's what's coming up on this edition of Good News Today. But, of course, we begin with our devotional time. And our scripture reading, as we said, from uh, Jeremiah chapter 22, uh, verses 24 through 30. As I live, says the Lord, though Coniah, the son of Jehoiakim, king of Judah, were the signet on my right hand, yet I would pluck you off, and I will give you into the hand of those who seek your life, and into the hand of those who face you uh, fear, the hand of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, and the hand of the Chaldeans. So I will cast you out and your mother who bore you into another country where you were not born, and there you shall die. But to the land to which they desire to return, there they shall not return. Is this man, Coniah, a despised, broken idol, a vessel in which is no pleasure? Why are they cast out, he and his descendants, and cast into a land which they do not know? O oh, earth, 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 hear the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord, write this man down as childless, a man who shall not prosper in his days. For none of his descendants shall prosper sitting on the throne of David and ruling any more in Judah. Sing me a song about Jesus. Sing me a song about his love. Sing with all your might every day and night. Music recognition. Music recognition. Sing out the blessed Sing me a song about 
We mentioned earlier that our reading today from Jeremiah 22, 24 through 30 is significant as it relates to a false doctrine that is very prevalent in the religious world today, and that doctrine is the doctrine of premillennialism and the idea or the concept that, uh, that Christ is going to return to this earth and that he is going to uh, reign literally on a throne in Jerusalem for a literal 1,000 years. Now, how does this prophecy of Jeremiah uh, negate that false uh, uh, claim, that claim of premillennialism? Well, it negates it because the prophecy here concerning Coniah, uh, who was also known as uh, Jeconiah and Jehoiakim, those th three names are referred to the same, uh, the same king. He was the son of Jehoiakim and uh, the prophecy is that, that of course, the, uh, the nation of Judah, the southern kingdom, is going into captivity and that there will be no descendant of Coniah, Jehoiakim or Jeconiah, same man. There'll be no descendant of his who will ever prosper sitting and reigning in Jerusalem on the throne of David. And yet, in Matthew chapter 1, in the genealogy that is given there, it is very clear that Christ is a descendant. He's in the line here. He's in the genealogy of Coniah. Coniah is there in that line that comes through Joseph. And so it is impossible then for one who is a descendant of uh, Jeconiah to ever sit and reign in Jerusalem Again, now listen to the words again, verse 24. He says, as I live, says the Lord, though Coniah, that's Jeconiah or Jehoiakim, uh, the son of Jehoiakim, king of Judah, and uh, Jehoiakim was a very wicked uh, king. Though he were the signet on my right hand, yet I would pluck you off. In other words, nothing is going to change what is coming here because you have rebelled against the will of the Lord. And I will give you into the hand of those who seek your life and into the hand of those who, whose face you fear, the hand of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, the hand of the Chaldeans. So I will cast you out and your mother who bore you into another country where you were not born and there you shall die. But to the land to which they desire to return, they shall not return. Of course, um, and uh, ultimately the people of God after 70 years captivity return. But this man, Coniah, is this man a, a despised, broken idol, a vessel in which he is no pleasure? Why are they cast out, he and his descendants, and cast into a land which they do not know? Verse 29, O earth, 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 hear the word of the Lord. In other words, hear what is going to happen here. Thus says the Lord, verse 30, here's the key verse, write this man down as childless. Now, Coniah was not childless literally in the sense that he did not have children. He did. But the point of the prophecy is write him down childless in, in the sense of having a descendant who would reign in his place, who would follow him on the throne in Judah. Write him down childless, childless, a man who shall not prosper in his days. And here's the explanation very clearly. For none of his descendants shall prosper, listen to it, sitting on the throne of David and ruling any more in Judah. Now, in Matthew's genealogy, which comes through uh, Joseph, of course, who, who did not literally beget Jesus, he was begotten of the, the Holy Spirit, but nonetheless, in that genealogy there, 
he is listed, Konaya is, in that genealogy, and Christ is in that line. Now, therefore, it is an absolute impossibility for the prophet to be correct and for Jesus to still be able to reign some point at some point in the future in Judah, in Jerusalem, sitting on the literal throne of David. That's an impossibility. Therefore, what the premillennial theory contends is clearly falsified by an inspired prophet, Jeremiah, who prophesied long ago that no descendant of Jeconiah would ever reign in Judah on the throne of David. Christ is in that line of Coniah, therefore he cannot reign in Judah. That's not a problem because it was never the intent of God for Christ to reign in Jerusalem. Never. He reigns now in heaven. He's at the right hand of God, reigning over his spiritual kingdom, the church, and that was the intent of God all along. Never to establish an earthly kingdom with Christ on an earthly throne, but to establish a spiritual kingdom, as Jesus himself affirmed when he stood before Pilate in John 18, 36, and said, my kingdom is not of this world. How much clearer could those words have been? My kingdom is not of this world. God never intended for Christ to reign in Jerusalem. He'll never set foot on this earth again. When he comes again, then we'll be caught up together to meet him in the air. That's what Paul wrote to the Thessalonian Christians. He said, those who are dead, they'll be raised first and then we'll all be caught up together to meet him in the air. And all the dead will be raised at that same time. Incidentally, John 5, 28 and 29, Jesus said, do not marvel at this for the hour, the hour, specific time, the hour is coming in which all who are in the grave shall hear his voice and shall come forth. All who are in the grave shall hear his voice and come forth at the same time. Those who have done good to the resurrection of life, those who have done evil to the resurrection of condemnation. One general resurrection of all the dead. Christ will not set foot on earth. He'll come, be caught up together to meet him in the clouds, not in a rapture. There's no such thing as the rapture ever taught in scripture either. But the second coming of Christ will be the time when all who are raised will be raised at the same time. All the dead, those who are alive then, will be caught up. And yes, those who have been faithful to him will be rewarded eternally in heaven. Christ is reigning now. That reign began when he ascended back to the Father in heaven, when he received that kingdom as he came to the Ancient of Days, as Daniel spoke about in his prophecy in Daniel 7, 13 and 14. And he was given a kingdom at that time. He reigns over that kingdom now. It is the church of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. He's coming back for that church, that kingdom, to take it home to the Father in heaven, 1 Corinthians 15, 24. And we must be in that kingdom and faithful in that kingdom when he comes to take it home. But this Old Testament prophecy in Jeremiah 22 is a death knell to the false teaching that Jesus is going to reign for a literal 1,000-year period on a literal throne in Jerusalem. Timer. Music recognition. Selected. Screen recording.